conditions. Let's take a look at our weather forecast right now. Kelly Barron's in the Weather Center. And what do you see for the rest of the afternoon, Kelly? Well, still some hot temperatures on the way today. That plus the haze again over Portland. We are tracking some thicker smoke in spots around the Cascades and uh, further towards Southern Oregon. But air quality still good now in Portland. We're just a little hazy and warming up. 78 degrees now, 80 already out to Salem. Take a look at this view again from our coin tower cameras. It'll be a tough day to see Mount Hood and all of our mountains due to all of that haze haze well off into the distance. You may notice more of that filtered sunshine again today as we uh, warm up into the afternoon. We are expecting to top off right around the low 90s again. So more heat as we finish out our evening. Here's a look at our surface smoke forecast. So this is now smoke that is near the surface instead of higher up, uh, which we call haze. So look towards Portland and the valley. Notice how we are seeing a lot of that wind motion from the north. This is what is keeping a lot of the smoke out of Portland here and more so towards central Oregon and the southern parts of the state. We've got very low smoke uh, in the forecast as we head our way into today and also tomorrow. Not the case again in central Oregon and southern Oregon. We'll still see a lot of that surface smoke uh, working and sitting around those counties as we head into Thursday. The good news is we are expecting relief uh, from the smoke mainly in western Oregon, but I do see some of that smoke shifting to the east and likely some relief out uh, towards central Oregon and further south too. take a look as we see a system arrive Thursday night. We will usher a lot of the smoke out towards the east and clear out the haze even in Portland. So some better conditions setting up. If you're tired of the haze, I think we'll get some relief here as we head into our next couple of days. We're tracking this upper level trough in this low system swirling away. That is going to replace this big ridge of high pressure that has been sitting over us uh, since the weekend. It's brought temperatures in the 90s, uh, but we are expecting this trough to roll in. And within this weather system, also a chance we see some rain here back in Portland. Likely for the first time in over 50 days, we've had that many days in a row of dry weather. So possibly by Friday, we change that up and bring some wet weather back in. So here's a look as we go into Thursday. Tomorrow morning does look a little cloudy, and this model even pointing to some light drizzle squeezed out uh, towards areas of the gorge and also out for the coast. So expect more morning mist and some drizzle here as we head into our Thursday. We'll still see a mainly dry. Thursday around the valley. It's going into Friday morning. We start to push in this cold front. It's a weak one. Not expecting a big washout, but likely some light rain showers by about five, six o'clock in the morning. That'll likely wet roadways. So it'll be a nice uh, little change here to our hot and dry summer so far. Finally, a weather system with a cold front that could bring some widespread light showers. We clear that up pretty quickly. Maybe a spotty shower through the afternoon, but we do dry up for the second half of the day. And as we head into Saturday, looking mainly dry. So we'll track the timing and uh, likely adjust a little bit as we move into the end of the week. But right now it does look like Friday. We could see some rain. I want to show you guys some of the uh, fires that are still out around the southern parts of the Cascades. We have a couple of complexes that have multiple fires burning. Uh, a lot of these are around the thousand acre size. The Jack Fire 20,000 acres in size that is still around 70% contained. But that is what is pushing a lot of the smoke uh, towards areas of Eugene and in Lane counties. We still have a red flag warning in place for uh, this region here in the Umpqua Basin for some gusty conditions. Low relative humidity. We are just heating up and drying out. Same for the bootleg fire in the Klamath Basin. So still some tough conditions in terms of fighting fires through today, but I do see some relief. We'll see some cooler temperatures setting up by the end of the week as that system rolls in, which should help uh, those regions as well and see less fire activity down there. Here's our zone planner. Upper 60s for the coast today, low 90s in the valley. Uh, we'll still see temperatures in the gorge and central and eastern Oregon uh, near the mid 90s again today. So here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures start to cool tomorrow, mid 80s. Then we're in the 70s by Friday as that weather system arrives. Nice to see some cooler temperatures sticking around through the weekend as we stay in the upper 70s. That's your forecast. We'll be right back.